Anyway, welcome to this lesson. We are going to start today by playing Name That Dog. I'd like you to try and name as many of the different types of dogs on your screen as possible. And if you finish, choose two and compare their characteristics. Um, pause the video while you have a go at that. Okay, so puppies number one are Labradors. That grinning guy in the middle is a Staffordshire Bull Terrier or Staffy. Dotty guy up in the top right is a Dalmatian. Bottom left is a Chihuahua. Then we've got a Pug, a Greyhound, and a Jack Russell. Okay, so what we're looking at this lesson is selective breeding, and we're going to find out what selective breeding is, how it happened, why we choose specific animals, um, we give specific animals specific characteristics. Okay, so if we want a really spotty Dalmatian puppy, we want to choose parents that both have lots of spots. The female dog will pass on her spotty genes in her eggs. So the, her spotty genes go through the eggs. Um, the male dog passes on his spotty genes in his sperm. And only the puppies with the most spots are then chosen to breed the next generation. So each generation should start getting spottier. Okay, so this process of choosing the offspring characteristics by selecting the parents with those characteristics is called selective breeding. The puppy is spotty like it with both its parents because the features have been chosen from the parents. Okay, so these are the key steps in selective breeding. Number one, you need to decide what characteristics you want, what's important. Secondly, you need to pick two parents that show those characteristics. Then you need to pick the best offspring from that generation to breed the generation after. And you're going to repeat that continuously until you've achieved the characteristics that you want. Okay, so I'd like you to have a go at answering this question, what is selective breeding in your own words? Pause the video for a moment um, while you have a go at that. Okay, so you should have said something like this. Selective breeding is picking out plants or animals that show features that humans like, and those plants or animals are then bred together to pass on those features to the next generation. So key points in there, picking out features, and then breeding to pass those features on. Okay, so we're going to have a look at the X-Men um, with selective breeding. Now, the X-Men, if you don't know them, they're a group of heroes who possess superpowers due to mutations they have in their genes. So you're going to face a challenge from Magneto, who's the enemy of the X-Men. He is going to um, set a challenge that requires one X-Man, so you need to select two X-Men to breed in order to produce an offspring that will complete the challenge. Okay, here he is. He has a very complex maze. Only one mutant may enter. When the maze has been completed, the mutant must read the mind of Azeel and defeat the mighty juggernaut in battle. Who are you going to choose? So let's have a think about what qualities you're going to need to be able to so solve Magneto's quest. So first of all, there is a very complicated maze. You're going to need to be smart. You need to read the mind of a zeal or outsmart him. So being a telepath might help here. Um, and you need to defeat the mighty juggernaut. So strength or some other way of defeating him is going to be important. Now, I've uploaded to Franta some cards with different X-Men on that you can pick from and their characteristics. If you know the X-Men already, you don't even need to look at the card. Um, but those are there to help you. Pick out the characteristics that you think are going to be, pick out the two mutants that you think you're going to be, want to breed together to defeat this puzzle. Okay, so who did you pick? You might have picked Jean Grey and Beast. Jean Grey is um, telekinetic, but she's also telepathic, so she could read Azeel's mind. The Beast, highly intelligent, so that will help with the maze, and he's very strong. So that will help with defeating Juggernaut. Another combination you might have picked, Professor X. Really, really intelligent. And he's like the best telepath ever. So he'd be really good for the mind reading. And then I picked Rogue to go with him because Rogue could sap the powers from Juggernaut. So it would defeat him easily. Okay. You could have picked another combination. As long as you can explain why you picked that combination, I'm happy with that. Okay. So... I've 
put a task up for you to do on Fronter. Have a go at that and submit that back to me. And good luck. I'll see you next time.